What was that for? about all this night business. Just let me swing a sword around and enjoy the odd drink. That's all I need. But uh, I'd hate to work with that prat from the other day. Who did he think he was? Anyway, it's up to you. It's a difficult decision. Just be sure to consider your own feelings first and foremost. I feel certain that Callista would like you to do the same. I doubt any of us will criticize you, no matter what you decide. Hmm, I think I'd go for it. I mean, yeah, working for the Count won't be a bed of roses. But I don't think knights have to do so much dirty work. The mercenary business isn't one you stay in for life. I'm the worst father in the world. Hi, Zale. Did you hear? Horace is going around town looking for you. There was a man in a robe. He kidnapped my daughter. I, I tried to chase after him, but he tore me to shreds. I didn't stand a chance. Oh, damn it all to hell! What can a normal guy like me do in a situation like this? I've never even touched a weapon before. How can I rescue my daughter? Hey, could you find... Oh, thank you. First, you'll have to find the man in the robe and follow him. Are those banknotes all from different countries? Wow. Travellers put them there as a good luck charm. Means they'll get back here safe. Not all of them do, of course. But I'll keep the tavern in business, so they can come back when they like. Did you decide what you're doing about the Count's offer? Not yet. Bear in mind, this doesn't just affect you. We all have a stake in this. We can get out of this way of life. No more waking up every morning and wondering if that's the day we die. It works out well for Callista too. There's a lot for you to think about. Yeah, I know. It seems like a pretty easy decision to me. Even if you do swear allegiance, it's not like you have to stick to it. And you get a girl out of it. Why say no? If you spend too long thinking about it, you'll only miss your chance. Good to see you again. You're looking pretty strong now. I recently got into the appraisal business. Need anything appraised?
Have you come to a decision? Soon you will become a knight, and if you perform well, then I would consider letting you marry Callista. That doesn't sound so bad, does it? You've made the right choice, good boy. Now my mind is at ease. Callista is sure to be happy as well. <laughs> Excellent. I hereby grant you this sword, treasured within the Argonan family. Things will get a lot busier around here. I'm expecting great things from you. I have gathered you all here for a very important announcement. This horrific assault has taught us one thing, that the threat of the Gorak has by no means been consigned to history. Fortunately, the crisis was averted. But the Gorak may be planning to strike again. You must realize I will not sit back and simply wait for this to happen. And so I declare today, we shall take the fight to the Gorak continent. For at last, we have the power to make this a reality. A man with the mark of the outsider has appeared, and he will awaken an ancient power hidden deep in the island. Gentlemen, I give you Zael, our savior. He will allow us to achieve our greatest ambition, to destroy the Gorak and bring peace to the Empire. These two fine men, Zael and Dagron, have already dealt the Gorak a significant blow by heroically assaulting their frontline base. Therefore, Today, I officially name these two knights in training and retainers of my court. Grant them your full support. Callista. Callista, please, you have to understand. I'm sorry. I don't think we should see each other anymore. And so Zael and Dagron became knights in training and official retainers of the court. Their dream was finally within their grasp. It seemed that their days of fighting for survival might soon come to an end. The wheels were in motion. Yet Zael still harbored some doubt. Well then, here's to Zael and Dagron, the new knights in training. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> I can't believe it's finally happened. You're on the road to becoming knights. I'm proud like you wouldn't believe. What are you proud of? You didn't do anything. You're joking. Without me fighting by their side, they'd never have made it this far. Can we not enjoy a friendly drink today, without all the usual bickering? So, I guess it's all at war with the Garak then. Looks like we'll all get a chance to show our stuff. Exactly. Zael and I may have been picked first, but you've all been made official retainers in Count Argonan's court. The dream is for all of us to be knights. I won't stop working towards that. I can just see the look on Sir Hoity Toity's face when he finds out we're knights. Zael, what's wrong? This is supposed to be good news. Oh, uh, it's nothing. Are you feeling disheartened because you weren't able to see Lady Callista? Don't be down in the dumps. Women change their mind from one second to the next. Indeed. Never has a truer word been spoken. What are you saying about me? Ah, that really <laughs> hot. Oh. <sighs> now I'm all hot and bothered. Guess it's time for what you've all been waiting for. <laughs> what? What have they been waiting for? Rare to see our pal Dagron so wasted. I guess I'll be his shoulder to cry on later. Uh, 
Ah, oh, it's good to move up in the world. But I'm already sick to death of all this formal manners stuff. At least I can still come here and relax. Maybe it's not so bad. Didn't I say I'd make you a knight one day? <laughs> it's funny seeing you drunk. We're gonna be happy from now on. You hear me? We're gonna make it! Dagrun, I wish it was that simple. You still seem to be in low spirits, Zale. But Dagrun has worked very hard to get you this far. This is a time to eat and drink. And eat and eat and eat and be merry. Oh. Hi, Zale. Did you hear? Horace is going around town looking for you. Why is that guy who wanted to find a master of archery anyway? Dagrun's always carrying a sword he never uses. What's up with that? Oh, it's something me and Dagrun bought when we first set up our band of mercenaries. That sword's like... the first step on the road to our dream. Fair enough, but how come he never uses it? We were pretty young when we bought it. At the time we didn't realise it's actually just a ceremonial sword. But Dagrun calls it our treasure. And always keeps it in good nick. You two really are close. Why is that guy you want... Why is that guy you want to find a master of archery anyway? Weird sort of thing to be looking for if you ask me. Oh, Zale! Has that little discussion caught your interest? Can you tell me a bit more? I don't see why not. There's a guy dressed in blue, over in Fountain Plaza. He hassles everyone who comes past, asks if they know a master of archery. Apparently he's just dying to meet one for some reason. That's a point. You're not bad yourself, are you? Why not go and see him? Zale! Come here and chat for a bit. It'll be great. Careful, Zale. You won't escape till morning. The mercenary celebration carried on until dawn. And the next morning... The Count's... 
Master Zael, the Count summons you and your companions. Dagron, when did you get here? Not long before you did. The Count and I were just discussing matters. Today, we will set forth for the Garak continent. Huh? <gasps> Today? My lord, isn't that a bit too soon? Surely the fleet needs time to prepare. <laughs> I can certainly understand your doubts. Dagron, tell him. There's a legend on this island, of a fortress that crosses the seas. What? What does that even mean? It's just what it sounds like. A fortress you can steer like a ship. Once upon a time, it charged across the sea and drove the Garak from the Empire. So the story goes, anyway. The founder of the House of Arganon left writings about it. But no one alive today has seen it for themselves, and no other evidence remains. 